Hello, this is another How to Grow Your Small Business. This is a job tip number two. Uh, as we introduced in job tip number one, this is a new series of side jobs that you can do that will help grow your small business. This tip is about app development. And when I say an app, those of you that have a smartphone or uh, intelligent phone or uh, iPhone, uh, the little applications that run on that are called apps. So what you want to do is you want to have uh, your business, your small business, so whatever it might be, whether it's products or services, and you want to think about how cool it would be if people that were your customers had an app that was dealt with your products or services. Maybe it was a way of ordering online. Maybe it was a way of, uh, of finding out more information. Maybe it was a way of uh, keeping track of things uh, related to your service whatever it might be. So app development could be something you could do. So your app ideas can be the, the, the next Flappy Bird or, or Snapchat in the industry. Who knows? You might come up with an idea for an app that really could fly, really, really make a lot of money. And you want to make the most of it. Apps are, are really a, a partnership of, of people and technology. You want to be solving problems. And, and people are not, that are in the entertainment business understand that. And, and now when you come out with a new movie, you typically come out with a new app that's a game that goes along with that movie. And if you come out with a new product, maybe you want to have an app that is a guide that, that shows people how to use the product. So there's a lot of different ideas, and this is where your creativity comes into play. So how do you do this? If you're not an IT person, if you're not a programmer, and you've never, never opened up a, a, an IDE to create a program, you're probably going to want to collaborate with someone who is. And, and there's a lot of uh, people out there that can do that, and will do it on a collaborative basis where you share in the profits. So you take them your idea, and they're probably a freelancer, although it could be a small, small, small business themselves, and you share the idea with them, and then together you, you build the app. And maybe you can even work it out to where they'll build it for free, just for a share of the profits. So you might want to also sit with them and, and learn it yourself, so the next time you can do it yourself. And then you want to decide to have it as an Android or an iOS, Apple, uh, or both. And, uh, and take note that there's a lot of differences between the two, and some are easier to build and, and develop and, and sell than others. So you, you want to work with your freelancer to make that decision. There are a lot more Android devices out there, but the high end are usually Apple. And then you want to upload it to the uh, various uh, markets, and Apple is very uh, tight on, on doing that. You have to pass a bunch of tests. But uh, Windows Store has one for, for Android, and, and the Google Play is for Android. So you want, to, you want to select what you want to use. And then you want to create a cost-efficient ad. And this may be an ad that runs on other mobile apps. And there's, there's some readings that we'll show you that'll tell you how you go about that. So, Freelancer, freelancer.com. We use Freelancer at O4VO. Sometimes we have this need and we'll use a freelancer to do it. There's another one called Fiverr, F-I-V-E-R. And for five bucks, they've got somebody that'll do a little something for you. And uh, that's a good way to get started. Uh, Upwork.com, and then you have an, an article Android versus iOS, comparing the development process of the uh, CQs, mobile apps. And then you can do how to submit an app to the Android market. Those are all articles. And then submitting your app to the store. This, this talks specifically about the Google Play Store. And then lastly, a list of mobile advertising services. So if you're going to be building an app and selling an app or building an app that helps you sell, you probably want to use apps because that's the people you're looking for 
to actually do your advertising for the app and for your small business. So I hope that helps. And that's the end of tip number two. Thank you.